Hello guys and welcome to Scrapbooking Saturday. And this series was a long awaited one and we planned this out for all those who are into crafting or all those who want to step into crafting and it is currently their hobby or passion kind of thing and they want to do it professionally. So we come, we have come up with this series that will be posted on every Saturday as the name suggests, uh, as the name says and uh, we'll be coming up every Saturday at 4 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So make sure you do, do not miss any of our videos and like and subscribe our channel. Before that, uh, before starting and jumping up into the video, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce myself. Most of you might know me as Hands to Heart and some might know me personally too. So I'm Srishti Arora, owner of Hands to Heart and I've been crafting since 2015 professionally and uh, before that it was my hobby but then I started it as uh, my profession, my full-time profession in 2015 and uh, this is kind of an inspirational video for all the budding crafters if you're a budding crafter, if you're into crafting for uh, quite some time but are really confused how to proceed, how to go ahead, this video is for you. So just uh, go ahead and watch this full video and uh, this might help you a lot. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just, first of all, I'm going to tell you my journey. I started crafting in 2015. Before that, um, basically I'm an engineer and I completed my engineering in 2013 I never wanted to go into a job I want always wanted to start something of my own always I have dreamt of doing a business kind of thing as my whole family is into business and no one is into job I have got that atmosphere at my home and they were all supportive so uh, during my engineering uh, years I uh, developed a crafting as a hobby I started to make gifts for my friends and my family and after engineering uh, uh, as I told you I didn't want to go for a job or something like that I thought of starting this crafting business I had a name in mind but I have nothing no clue of what I'm going to do next so the name was hands to heart I asked few of my friends if um, a uh, few of the friends who share the common interests, common hob crafting interests and I asked them if they wanted to join me and obviously other people have other priorities, they want to go for a job or something like that. So I was left all alone. Uh, it was a hard time kind of thing for me uh, to choose what I want to do but uh, the thing uh, this thing was uh, somewhere in my mind that i am going to uh, go ahead and make crafting a profession one day or the other that was for sure and i was going to use the name hands to heart okay so after that what i did was i made few things made few samples but i didn't have a page i didn't have a platform where i can showcase my uh, designs so my family was very supportive in this uh, my brother forced me to make go ahead and make an instagram page make a, make an instagram page or a facebook page and the main motto was to reach uh, out some audience so what i did was i made a page he forced me to do it i did it i had no clue where i was going uh, i just made a page after that uh, what I did was I started um, making new and different things and started posting it on the page on the platforms that were there uh, I used Facebook at first I used Instagram I used WhatsApp WhatsApp was not there at first because you need a audience base to create a WhatsApp group or a WhatsApp broadcast so what I did was I uh, keep on making new and different things. I experimented on new things, and I kept sharing them on my plat on the social media. It took me around two months to get my first order. I still remember it. It was a Valentine's Day order. Obviously, there was no margin at all. I gave my best to that order. I completed that order. 
uh, packed it nicely, dispatched it, delivered on time and the client was so happy. This boosted up my morale. Uh, it helped me a lot to proceed further. I thought that, uh, okay, uh, it might take time but no issues at all, I'm going to give my best. I'm going to do every possible thing to make it work out because this was the thing I wanted to do and this was the thing I'll be doing for whole my life now. Okay, a few, uh, I've met um, many people and they don't know uh, if crafting can be a profession. Yes, it can be a profession and it can be a full-time profession, guys. So, those who want to do this uh, as a full-time profession, do not hesitate. It's a business, definitely takes time and it, uh, if your parents support, it is, if you have your parents' support, it is the best thing um, that they are with you. And uh, if they're not, just go ahead, live your dream, and you might one day be a great crafter. So, um, I hope uh, this was, my journey helped you or you can relate it in some way or the other. And as a budding crafter, I know that we all face uh, the kind of issues like how to start, what, how to proceed or what steps to take and uh, so I'll be telling you how to start is just go ahead, don't be afraid, don't be afraid of a single thing, go ahead and make a page, start sharing your projects, don't think about the orders, just share your projects, share about and uh, your main motto should be uh, sharing and reaching out the maximum audience that should be your main motto if you're not getting orders no problem at all and not just in crafting if you're into any kind of business if you're into any sort of online business obviously it will take time business it, uh, needs a lot of patience you please don't be impatient uh, just set up good margins and uh, make your product post them and eventually you'll get orders eventually you'll get it might take one month for some and one year for other for the other person but it doesn't matter at all if you are investing your time if you are investing your hard work into something it will eventually pay off so no need to worry about that guys no need to worry about that and look at me four years or four and a half i guess and i'm sitting here in front of you so guys the main thing is that you do not need to worry about the orders never if you if crafting is your hobby, you do not have to worry about orders at all. Just consider it as your passion, as your hobby and keep making things. Keep making different things. Keep experimenting. Do not worry about anything at all. Just give your best in each and every project. As I told you, my first order was after two months and it most boosted my morale a lot. And the next order what I got was around three months after that and between this three months I kept my focus on sharing my products sharing them on Facebook groups sharing them on other platforms and reaching the maximum amount of people I can so this was the key thing and this I guess this should be the key, key thing for all of you for all the budding crafters for all the crafter all the craft who are stepping into this as a profession just keep your focus on reaching the maximum amount of people this is the must thing that you should do so you might all face this question that why to craft and I have this answer for you if you uh, feel like crafting is your passion and not just crafting any other hobby like painting like playing sports like football or cricket if it's your hobby and you feel that it's a passion for you you should just go ahead in that field only you will give your best in that field and uh, like if i would have gone ahead and joined a job or something like that every day would be a like punishment for me that i have to go and go to the office complete my course and then come back home and life would not be a fun kind of thing and uh, with crafting each day I feel like uh, I'm living my life it is just a dream come true for me or something like that you can relate it right uh, so uh, 
if I'm doing crafting, each day is different for me. It is not that same boring all day. Even if you're working from home, you do not have to force yourself to go out of the bed and go ahead and start crafting. If it is a passion, it will come naturally to you. Uh, you'll just get up and it will be like a daily routine and you cannot live without crafting if you it's your passion or something like that. So if uh, that is the case, then you should uh, go ahead and choose crafting as your profession. And uh, many people ask me that uh, uh, do one uh, can one make enough money uh, from crafting alone? Yes, it will take time, but I guess you can make enough money. Uh, to take all your responsibility and those who don't craft full time and have a job it's kind of a difficult but uh, eventually they manage time for themselves for time to craft because it is their passion it is their hobby so if that is the case just go ahead and uh, give your best and start this as a profession don't think twice um, because eventually what happens is we waste too much of time in thinking uh, that uh, we should go ahead or not, we should craft or not and things like that and it just delays all the process but if you are sh uh, sure that it is your hobby and it is your passion just go ahead and start it over, don't think twice. So guys, I hope that this video helped you in one way or the other, motivated you in some way and um, so that you can go ahead and craft and if it that if it did just give it give us a like or leave some love in the comments below and we'll be coming up on tuesday now and i'll be sharing other things like what basic supplies you need if you're a beginner or a new crafter and uh, the supplies that are must and i'll be going into detail uh, for each one of them step by step and uh, so this will be like a complete guide for you all if you want to be a crafter or if you are a beginner or if you are missing something out um, in this complete journey of crafting i hope this these might solve all your queries and if you have some or you feel like i'm missing something just leave uh, drop down a comment or you can mail us I'll be leaving all the links and all the mail IDs or contact number in the description box below and you can contact me anytime if you have any sort of queries or you feel like I'm missing anything and I should add this in my videos. Obviously it is new for me too so if I made mistake just ignore them. I'll be definitely growing up um, uh, with this all camera sort of camera thing. So I hope to see you all joining me on Tuesday and then till then take care and goodbye and have a great time crafting and yes stay home and stay safe. Um, I hope you my YouTube series will help you pass on this quarantine time and I'll see you soon guys take care and goodbye.